This is a comparison review of women's merino wool leggings. It's one video in a series of reviews of merino wool travel clothing, so please subscribe. Our family is traveling long term, and most of my minimal travel capsule wardrobe is made of merino wool clothing. When I first started adding merino wool to my wardrobe, I splurged on a pair of leggings. However, since I was shopping online, I didn't quite understand what I was getting, and they turned out to be much thinner than what I was hoping for. I compiled this review to help you choose which pair of leggings will be the best fit for your wardrobe. Included in this review are leggings by Wool X, Ibex, Truly Caris, Unbound, Explore, and Wool And. Most of these leggings I purchased myself. A couple pairs I was gifted for inclusion in this review. You can find timestamps as well as product links in the description box below. I really appreciate the commissions I earn when you shop through my affiliate links. Before we take a close look at these six pairs of wool leggings, let's go over some terminology that will help you when shopping for wool clothing. Weight of wool. You may see noted on a product the GSM, which stands for grams per square meter. Basically, if you took the fabric and cut out one square meter of it, and then you weighed it, that would give you the grams per square meter. A bigger GSM number means heavier fabric, so it often means it will be thicker and warmer. You could also see this expressed as ounces per square yard. It's the same concept. A bigger number means heavier fabric. Micron. You may see noted that a particular item is made with, say, 17.5 or 18.5 micron wool. Micron refers to a measurement of the diameter of the individual fibers. For reference, a human hair tends to be about 100 microns in diameter. The smaller the micron, the thinner the wool fibers are and the softer the material will be. A bigger number micron indicates a larger diameter of fibers and those can be rougher. This is the reason why merino wool, which comes from the merino breed of sheep, is so popular for clothing. It's a very thin wool fiber, which makes it very soft and comfortable to wear. For sizing reference, I'm five feet, four inches tall, and I weigh around 107 pounds. I typically wear a size small. However, I did measure and look at the size chart for each brand before selecting a size. I'm going to start off with three pairs of leggings that are good for cold conditions, including freezing cold, snowy temperatures. Wool X Piper Pocket Leggings in size small, regular inseam black. The fiber content is 85% Australian merino wool, 12% nylon, and 3% spandex. They are 330 GSM. Retail price is $150. I was gifted these for inclusion in this review. Thank you, Wolex. They have a wide waistband and two side pockets. Tell me, ladies, what are you planning to put in your pockets? People are always asking for recommendations for wool leggings with pockets. I personally wear my leggings under dresses and don't even use the pockets. What's going in there? These are opaque enough to wear alone as pants if that's your style. They're very warm. The fabric on the inside is nice and soft and snuggly. It did get softer after I washed them for the first time. I recommend these for cold weather. So far, I wore them in Japan in the springtime. They're too hot to wear out and about here in Malaysia in the tropical heat. I'm really looking forward to putting them to the test this winter on our family's snow trip and see how they do when it's freezing cold temperatures. Overall, size small fits me well. They are a little bit long. They only had the regular inseam version available when I got them. The petite inseam would probably be just the right length for me. As far as color selection, they currently come in black, dark moss, which is a green, and bark, which is a brown. In general, Wolex has a nice wide selection of colors for things like shirts and dresses. The color selection's a bit more limited when it comes to the leggings. I think until recently, they were just black. Overall, I'm quite happy with these Wolex Piper Pocket Leggings. I would recommend them if you're looking for an opaque pair of leggings to wear in cold weather that has pockets. Ibex Lizzie Women's Tights, size small, deep ocean. The fiber content is 71% wool, 24% nylon, and 5% elastane. And they are 345 GSM. The price is $190. I was gifted these for inclusion in this review. Thank you, Ibex. These tights feature a wide waistband and two side pockets. These are opaque and could be worn alone as pants. They're quite warm and I look forward to putting them to the test in snowy conditions. 
I personally don't like the feel of the fabric as much on these as some of the other options, probably because of the high synthetic nylon content. I personally gravitate towards options that have a higher percentage of wool in them. I recommend these for cold weather, especially the winter. I wore them in the spring in Japan and they were comfortable on cool rainy days like when my kids were out picking blueberries. Regarding fit, the main thing to note is that these are compression fit tights. They're pretty snug around the waist and sort of squeeze my legs as well. I guess that's beneficial if you're doing outdoor activities, perhaps if you're out skiing. Personally for me, I like a looser, more comfortable fit. The number one thing I look for in clothing these days is comfort. I wore these once on an airplane flight and I got a bit bloated from eating the airplane food and then the waistband was just pushing too hard on my belly at that point. I love the color selection for these Ibex leggings. This deep ocean color is the perfect teal to match with my capsule wardrobe. They also have a really pretty evergreen color and they also come in charcoal, plum pie, or black. I recommend these leggings if you're looking specifically for a compression fit. I think I personally would prefer the Ibex Lizzie Tavern Pant, which is more of a straight leg cut pant. Truly Karis Heavyweight Mama Leggings in size small, dragonfly colorway. The fiber content is 95% wool and 5% spandex, and these are around 720 GSM. These are by far the thickest, most heavy duty leggings out of all of them in this review. These are made by a small family business in the USA and the price is $330. They're twice as expensive, but twice as thick. These are referred to as mama leggings since Truly Karis also offers wool pants for babies that double as cloth diaper covers. So these are the adult grown up version. You don't have to be a mama to wear them. They have the tallest, widest waistband out of all the pairs. They feel like a nice snuggly wool hug. I really like how they kind of hold my midsection together. I purchased the Restore Your Core class, but I still haven't had time to take it. I recommend these for cold weather, especially if you want something warm to wear out in the snow. I plan to wear these in lieu of snow pants on our family's next winter trip. Last time I just had thin leggings or synthetic snow pants. However, my kids wore their heavyweight Truly Karis wool pants out in the snow and they worked great. The one exception when these might not be enough is if there's really icy, chilly, cold wind or you're in more wet, slushy conditions. In that case, you could wear a thin shell that's waterproof and windproof on top of them. If you're curious how I dressed my kids for the snow, I did a separate video showing how I layered their merino wool clothing. As far as pockets, my particular pair does not have any pockets. However, these are made to order, so you can order them with cargo pockets for an additional fee. As far as fit, the size small does fit me really well. One thing that I didn't think of is I should have ordered them with a shorter inseam. The standard inseam for the full length version is about 28 to 29 inches. I could have easily said to take away two inches of inseam to get them to fit me just right. I like that they don't have as many seams running down the side as the other two pairs. They only have the seam on the inside of the legs. This colorway is called Dragonfly and it was dyed on a slightly stripy wool, so there's a bit of a striped pattern to it. Not all the colors have that. Truly Curious releases new colors seasonally. Right now they have some really pretty inspired by nature colors available in the heavyweight wool. These are my favorite pair of the warmer winter options, but they really are just for cold weather. I don't think I'd want to be wearing them out and about in the tropical heat. They're so nice and soft and fuzzy though. These three pairs I'm planning to pack for our family's next winter snow trip to Japan. I made a separate video showing my entire winter travel capsule wardrobe, so you can watch that after this video. Let's move on to three pairs of leggings that work well in warm weather. You could also wear these in cold weather if you layered them under thicker pants. Unbound Women's Merino Leggings, size small black. The fiber content of the pair that I have is 96% wool and 4% spandex. They have since updated the fiber content and they are now offering leggings made of 68% merino wool, 22% nylon, and 10% spandex. And they are 330 GSM. The current price is $155. I paid less than that when I purchased mine. They have a wide comfortable waistband and one zippered pocket that's designed to hold a passport. I've never actually used the pocket. This pair is not opaque. They are sheer, especially on the knees. And after 10 months of heavy wear, just recently I got a hole above one of the knees, 
but after having washed them, I'm not seeing that hole anymore, so hopefully it won't run. I think this is why they switched the fiber content and now use a fabric that includes 22% nylon because they were worried about the durability and had received some feedback about the knees. Out of all the pairs I'm reviewing, these are the only ones I can really speak to the durability on since I've been wearing them the longest. For about six months, they were the only pair of leggings I was wearing, so I was wearing them at least a couple times a week. This is my favorite pair to wear in hot weather, paired with a skirt or a dress. They're really comfortable even in the hot, humid, tropical heat. They work perfect for my all seasons, year round travel capsule wardrobe. I can wear them here in the tropics, but I could also wear them in cold weather as a base layer layered under warmer pants. They were not warm enough alone in the snow, especially when it got down to negative seven degrees Celsius and there was a cold breeze, that air was just going right through them. Even when I tried layering my other thinner leggings under, that was not enough. These are super comfortable and they're my go-to pair to wear on travel days, especially if we're gonna be flying on an airplane. The one issue with the fit on size small is that they're quite long on me. They're really bunched up at the ankles here. However, I think that's something that they updated and the most recent version is a bit shorter. Unbound offers a limited color selection for their leggings and many of their items sell out really quickly. So there could be some waiting involved to get exactly what you want. They currently offer black, charcoal, and forest green, which I would call more of an olive green. Unbound offers merino wool travel clothing for both women and men. My husband wears quite a bit of Unbound as well. You can save 10% on your order with coupon Kencho Quest. Explore Grown Up Explorer Legging Size Medium Teal. The fiber content is 100% merino wool and they are 200 GSM made from 18.9 micron wool. These are not the correct size for me and I knew that when I was purchasing. I do find them to be slightly itchy sometimes, probably from that larger micron wool. I'll share some tips though of how you can soften them up. Price is $95. I purchased mine with an affiliate discount. They have a comfortable wide waistband. There are no pockets. I do find these to be opaque, but they're intended more to be a base layer than wear alone pants. As an alternative, Explore offers joggers, which have pockets and a drawstring waistband. I personally wear them around the house as lounge pants since I did get a big size, or sometimes I'll layer them under a dress to go out. This is another great year round, all season option. You can wear them in warm weather. Some places we go are a bit too hot for them to be comfortable. And then also in the snow, these will make an excellent base layer. Explore leggings come in lots of fun, bright colors. And if you want to make it a full base layer set, they also offer long sleeve base layer shirts or a nursing breastfeeding shirt option as well. The reason I ordered these in size medium is because they were the only pair left in this gorgeous teal color, which I call aqua. It's my favorite color. Explore does not recommend sizing up and I would follow that guidance. These are too big on me, and I also tried sizing up for my kids' base layers, not knowing when the next time we would take a winter trip would be, and those were too big on them. I also have an older version that was meant to be capri length, but it falls about full length on me. However, the leg band cuffs look a lot better if I pull them up to where they were intended to be. Explore offers 100% merino wool base layers and joggers for the whole family, and you can save 10% with code KENCHOQUEST. Woolland Axis Midweight Cropped Legging in Size Small Ocean Teal. The fiber content is 68% wool, 22% nylon, and 10% spandex. The fabric weight is 300 GSM. The price is $98. They have a nice wide waistband. This style does not have pockets. These are opaque, but they do show a visible panty line. I personally don't really like the feel of this fabric. It's kind of shiny. To me, it's just too much of a synthetic nylon content. These might be a good option for you if you're just now transitioning from synthetic athletic wear. They might feel more like what you're used to while still having the benefits of wool. I bought them because I wanted another pair that would be good to wear in hot, humid weather. These could be worn under thicker pants as a base layer in the winter. The size small is a bit too big on me. Also, I thought that the capri length was gonna be a great option since I live in hot weather, but I don't really like where the bottom band falls. It falls on my calf muscle, which I find to be a bit uncomfortable. I would prefer a longer length capri that falls under the calf. As far as colors, I thought this ocean teal was going to be more of a teal. To me in person, it's blue. 
In general, Woolland has a wide selection of colors, which they change periodically. And if you're interested, that way you could get leggings and either a shirt or a dress all in the same color. Washing wool. Sometimes when you first receive a piece of merino wool clothing, it may feel a little itchy or scratchy. If it fits you well and you like the style and you're sure you're going to keep it, you might want to try washing it and see if that softens it up a bit. All the leggings I showed in this review can be machine washed on cold on a gentle cycle. And I recommend using an actual wool wash. One of my favorites is Unicorn Fiber Wash or for a really deep clean Unicorn Beyond Clean. Like if you played in the mud or spilled something on your leggings. Also in this line is Unicorn Beyond Soft. You can add some of that to the fabric softener compartment to soften them up. This is not a typical fabric softener, which is normally not recommended to use on wool because it can coat the fibers. All the Unicorn products are specifically made for wool and all the Beyond line is unscented. You can also add some lanolin back to your clothing to moisturize and soften the fibers. Lanolin is a greasy substance that sheep naturally produce to maintain their wool. You can think of it the same as conditioning your own hair. An easy way to do this is to use a detergent that contains lanolin, such as Euclid. Although it says no rinse on there, I would rinse after you've used it. Another easy option you could get was a spray lanolin. I'll link to an option below. You just spritz that onto your clothes and then kind of massage it in a bit focusing on the inside of the clothes where it's gonna to touch your skin. Occasionally, I will soak her clothes in a full lanolin bath, either in the sink or the bathtub, to really give them a deep moisturize, and they will also help to increase the water repellent properties. I'll link to instructions of how to do that in the description box. That wraps up my review of women's merino wool leggings. I will also be reviewing camisoles with built-in shelf bra, as well as merino wool bras and underwear so be sure to subscribe. Up next, you may want to watch my video on my winter travel capsule wardrobe or my video showing my hot weather wardrobe of merino wool dresses.